The first step is to begin the application by logging in. By default, you are taken to the track function. Track function helps you to track important live parameters of your fleet. All provides details of list of connected vehicles of fleet. Moving status signifies vehicle is moving. Stop status indicates that the ignition is off and there is no movement. However, vehicle is available. Idling status indicates that ignition is on but there is no movement. Offline indicates that device is not transmitting data. It may happen if vehicle is in off state for more than six hours. You can get required information based on any category you wish to select. You get to see the map view as well as satellite view. You can track any vehicle you wish to by using the search option and filling VIN number and registration number. You can also view details in full screen mode. You can switch to normal mode as well with the same functionalities. We get four columns on vehicle details. These are Geofence, Generate Trip, Vehicle Master, and Share Vehicle Location. Let us see how to create Geofence first. In order to create a particular geofence, we have to first give a name. After that, we have to identify the location where geofence has to be used. There are two ways of creating geofence. One is circle, the other is polygon. In case of circle, you can define radius for one kilometer and can also increase it. Whenever vehicle falls in the purview of this radius, an alert will be generated. You can create a geofence by using polygon as well. For that, you have to zoom in the map and select boundaries. The particular area marked will be geofenced. Let's move to the next feature. To generate trip, we will see in plan section. In vehicle master, all information about the vehicle is available at one location. You can also enter or edit the registration number up to 25 characters. You can also share live location to any number specifying expiry date. You can share with a mobile number and can also share it with an email address. You can also get live information of any vehicle whose details you enter. First, you have to select the vehicle icon and then its detail view will showcase. You can check overall status, last updated time, live location, share location, fuel level, in percentage as well as in liters, DEF levels wherever applicable. Current driving mode, balance, power, economy modes, engine temperature. You also get to see cluster meter. Check lamps remotely. It can be useful to check live status of vehicle health, like water and fuel indicator. Check engine lamp, engine red stop lamp, malfunction indication lamp, parking brake, DPF regeneration required, SCR system fault, air filter clogging, 
DEF or urea low indicator, high engine coolant temperature, GPS signal quality. You can also see model number and also see total kilometers used, chassis number, current speed, distance pending for service, vehicle application. You can also get details on trip A and trip B mileage. If driver starts trip through trip meter, once trip begins, then the mileage details for the trip can be seen. To play tracing, we have to click upon vehicle detail and tracing page will be projected. You can trace live or historic data for last one year as per requirement with up to 30 days time frame. To play tracing, you have to click upon play. After that, we can adjust speed according to our requirement and after minimizing map, we can see vehicle movement. After that, two types of live information can also be accessed. One is vehicle statistics and the other is event timeline. In vehicle statistics, you get dynamic information about vehicle such as vehicle model, odometer, delta fuel consumed, speed of the vehicle. In event timeline, we can see if any event is created during the selected duration such as idling or coasting or creation of signals or incidents. The list of such events will appear here.